Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 and today I finally got round to uploading a video that I've actually been planning to produce for ages now. This will be a tutorial on camouflage, view range, spotting and how to maximise your camouflage value with the help of bushes. Watching this video will help you massively and improve your gameplay a lot, especially if you're a new player in World of Tanks. So we can see right here an FV215B progressing on an open field and he gets spotted straight away by an AMX 1390 hiding in the bush. However, the AMX 1390 only gets spotted by the FV once it fires his gun. Before that, it is camouflaged. Now, the AMX 1390 reverses till the bush stops being transparent and fires its gun again and you can see this time the FV does not spot the 1390. However, the 1390 also loses vision on the FB, so it has to drive forwards again to spot it, then uh, it could reverse again and take shots at it. Uh, what we learn by this is that actually a bush gives you more camouflage value, however, once you fire a gun, all bushes in a 15 meter radius of your tank become translucent and lose the camouflage value. That is very important to remember when firing from cover. Uh, another important point is that once you are 5 meters away from a bush, you will not be able to see through it anymore. You can tell that you're further than 5 meters away from a bush because it will stop being transparent. If you're closer than 5 meters to your bush, it will actually be transparent. So right now I will show you how to maximize the efficiency of this with a scout and a tank destroyer engaging another tank. So you can see the AMX 490 locating in a bush. The Yak Tiger is 15 meters away from his bush, and because the AMX 1390 doesn't fire his gun and is close to the bush, he can spot the FE 215B. The Yak Tiger, however, isn't spotted by the FE 215B because he is 15 meters behind his bush, and the FE 215B basically cannot shoot at anybody. 